Good afternoon, everybody. Hope everybody's having a great day. It's a, another busy day here at the log farm. We've been running around getting all our equipment lined up and ready for delivery. So the uh, weather has changed on us. We've gone uh, to the warm side of things, which is unusual for the end of February here in Ottawa. We uh, were about plus seven degrees right now which just really shouldn't happen the end of February here. Um, some guys are starting to panic about tapping and getting their equipment up. Fortunately, ours hasn't arrived yet. Um, I was working on that today and trying to get everything organized. Um, we, uh, I guess you could say we could be tapping right now, but Unfortunately, sap doesn't hold real well. Um, to get the best syrup, you need nice crystal clear sap. And if you hold sap for more than a day or two, it starts to get cloudy, which gives you a, a darker syrup and usually a more bitter taste. So we just, there's not a whole lot of point right now. And there's always a risk it's going to get cold again, which could, you know, mess your tapping up and everything else. So, <clears throat> again, for those of you who don't know syrup that well, um, ideal temperatures are plus 5 during the day and minus 5 at night. Um, gives you a good run up and down and it fills the buckets pretty quickly, so... Our bush is all on buckets. We don't uh, pipeline anything, so we uh, got to go around and collect it all. So not a big deal, um, but uh, without anywhere to store it or anything to boil it in just yet, I uh, I haven't gotten a big panic about tapping or collecting yet. So we will get there for sure. Um, Dropped off our wagon the other day in North Gore to uh, get the seats built on it. And uh, got a text message about an hour ago that it's ready to pick up, so we'll do that tomorrow. Um, got to run out and pick up some feed for the animals, and we'll grab the wagon while we're out as well. Um, we're just uh, trying to put all the pieces together, so... Things are moving along. Uh, we've got uh, oh, what a week and a half left to get some things done up. So we'll be doing that and trying to make sure that we're ready for the public. The uh, the tents coming a week today for the pancake breakfast and uh, electricians all set up and ready to wire in the trailer that the folks from uh, Grillmaster Express will be cooking their food in so we're getting along we're just uh, taking the steps we can and uh, yeah so anyway uh, just a little update for you guys and uh, hope you've enjoyed some of the footage we've uh, been doing just regular stuff around here as farm life has it and trying to get uh, ready as well so Hope you have a great evening, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Let's patch them. 
Scrubium. What's it doing? What's it doing? Less you shake it, the better, because that fine stuff that there is really good stuff. Uh, I see an airplane. Oh, wow. Wow. You see an airplane? Mm-hmm. Wow. Look at that jump rope right there. I'm going to bring it back to rework. Slide it straight. Thought I'd bring you along. Um, yesterday morning, when I came up to do chores, unfortunately, uh, a couple of our chickens were had been killed and torn apart a little bit, so weren't real happy about that. So last night we uh, locked them in another area that's kind of a heated storage room area that they're safe in there and set a live trap and uh, see if we've caught anything. So I thought I'd bring you along and we'll explore this together. So this is the barn where the chickens usually are. And look what we have. Ha! Well then. All right, ladies and gentlemen. You got the same live reaction that I got. So, anyway, we're going to continue on with chores. I'll have to go back down and get my truck. I've just got the tractor up here now. And, uh... Yeah, I'll throw them in the back of the truck in the live trap and take them up into the back of the sugar bush and let them go up there because raccoons can be pretty nasty around the farm. They obviously kill their chickens and they'll get into feed and their their excrements are can be dangerous and rabies and so on and so forth. So anyway, we'll take them up into the back of the bush and let them go up there and he can find a new home up there and hopefully uh, stays up there. So anyway, we'll talk to you soon.